let's give Supreme their flowers too, because these already have come out. Don't get me wrong, so they're not so exactly new news here that I'm sharing with you guys. But I think we should um, give Supreme their flowers when it comes to sneaker collaborations, right? This is the um, Nike Air Max ninety six that they basically re retroed. I think they came out originally. Yeah, they came out originally, obviously, in 96, but then they came out again in the early 2000, maybe recently, maybe it was 2011, no, maybe it was 2017. Anyway, recently they came out, and then they reintroduced them back again, and they tend to do this quite often. Nike, I mean, Supreme, have a tendency of always collaborating with Nike and kind of pulling out some of the lesser-known models and giving them, basically, you know, life support. Um, and just basically reintroduce them back into the sneaker market again, and it's pretty cool. I pretty much, I pretty like it. I pretty like this approach because there is, I think, in my head, if I was Supreme and stuff, and you went to do collaborations that sell out, you could easily just, you know, keep doing any variation of the more popular Air Maxes, Air Max One, Air Max Ninety, Ninety Fives, Ninety Sevens. What was it? It's not, I'm not responding. Why is it not responding? Exit pages and oh, my God, exit the pages. Respond again. Yeah, but yeah, you can do any interpretation of those models and it'll be perfectly fine. They'll sell out completely. Let's not even go on the side of Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s and stuff, right? You do those and it's a complete sellout job every single time you drop. But they purposely go for the more, you know, um, lesser known model um, just to kind of, you know, challenge themselves a little bit in terms of design. And you can't fault them and especially this this looks great so they've taken this lake here max 96 model which usually has these little kind of meshy bits on here on the sides where um and meshy venti type of bits and they basically made it transparent um and then obviously they don't look great with different color socks on them inside but this is a fairly cool interpretation of a really really um overlooked i think air max in terms of the air max collection it's got the same sole as an air max 95 but then it's got this amazing sort of like weird tiger stripe sort of like you know motif here on the side and um, with the one swoosh there on the heel so again making them translucent and then having the footbed or the insole say supreme on the n4 They've got obviously the logo on the back and on the front, which is something again I've said. I see Nike doing a lot more with loads of other brands. They obviously, obviously, they obviously always do it with the Supreme because the Supreme, but they do tend to give loads of brands the opportunity to kind of you know emboss a little bit of branding on there, and make it a little bit different. So it's not just a colorway redesign, but they look awesome. I'd probably say my favorite is probably the silver. The silver is probably my favorite in terms of overall color. But like that silver looks incredible, isn't it? And it definitely, it basically looks like the Air Max ninety seven silver bullet, you know, the OG, the kind of Italian number one shoe. But that looks great, especially with the clear bubbles in it. Like, oof, so 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 good. And I'm assuming somebody just does the sneaker collaborations at Supreme, or do you think it's at people that design the footwear or the design team in general? I'm not really too sure, but I'd imagine there is a committee of people that are basically in charge of putting these kind of things together and obviously the socks that that you can kind of buy separately you know batteries not included and shit and you've got the ogs here too to see to tell you how great this model is right it's an absolutely incredibly good model incredibly nice model sorry the actual colorways have come out being retro they haven't been the greatest i think the, the retro colorways are these i think which you know are not the best you've got this sort of like black and purple colorway the overall sh model and shape of it looks a little bit crap so maybe they maybe it's a re-retro that's been retooled because it does look a bit terrible in these pictures i'm not gonna lie let's see this quick view this is from what's that site a S E. what's that sparse express or something whatever this website is express 149 pound for these shoes in black or what size do they have here they have all sizes jesus but yeah they look a little bit odd here isn't it maybe they did re-retro the actual model itself the shape because i think the supreme one definitely does look a little bit better than what these look like but the ogs look incredibly good you've got another pair that recently went on depop here that was sold in a size 5 and og kind of a flip on this colorway basically the inverse white and blue blue and white and obviously you've got that great cloudy bubble style thing that happens obviously when your um, air bubbles oxidate over oxidate over time usually if you wear these type of things the bubble will just completely you know burst on itself so it's not the best thing to wear but in terms of looking at it's amazing isn't it such a great shoe man really really great collaboration and again like i said give supreme their flowers for always going and trying to do the more difficult thing when it comes to collaborations and not just going for the easy win and grabbing a jordan one or a jordan four and then making it you know and then doing that and saying you know job done 
so yeah big up supreme for that big up supreme for that i think they already sold that now at the moment so if you're trying to buy a pay yourself then get on StockX or cry your crying to a pillow like i always do <laughs> i mean just keep it keep it quiet